craftsmanship is what it's all about. I mean, couture is a, you know, is, is actually just dressmaking. That's all. It's just a French way of saying dressmaking. The French always managed to find a nice way of saying things. I'm probably the only designer around today that's dressed every single member, female member of the royal family, except the Queen. It's quite nice to look back into that time when it was a little bit more formal than it is today. The 40s through to sort of 60s were a very strong period of time, I think. It was very much rural Britannia at that time, and I think Britain was very sort of glamorous at that time with the balls and the functions and the debutantes and things like that. That in the 50s, young girls aspired to look like their mothers, but in the 60s, the mothers aspired to look like the daughters. All the rules went out the windows, so that you really were free to do very exciting and very glamorous clothes. And of course, clothes could be a little bit more sexy than they had been. It has changed hugely in the last sort of 15, 20 years. The big dress, the occasion dress, is, has become, you know, something that you wear less and less and less of. In the 60s and 70s, people paid for the dresses, but today, red carpet dresses are borrowed, so you get stars and celebrities wearing a ball dress. People look at a long dress and say, what's that? Where, where do you wear a long dress? And they oh yeah, the Oscars. Designing a dress can be really quite a versatile and different project. Sometimes I start with ideas uh, that maybe I just saw on the street. I always designed from technique. I would find a technique that I liked, whether it was smocking or draping or pleating or ruching or whatever it might be. The ball gown usually uh, demands lots of fabric and um, th there, is, there is a place to play, to drape, to draw, to playing with a view of 360 degrees, which is really exciting. It starts, I think, with a theme. All my collections are very thematic. It's been perfume bottles and interiors and objects of art. A lot of the collections that we were designed were, were based on themes. For instance, we would have an Indian collection or a Chinese collection. I loved doing dresses for Princess Diana. She was, she was very, very charismatic and she could wear all sorts of wonderful colours. Our dress was on the official stamp. These are all the sketches that she would make comments on and, uh, and write on. Bianca Jagger was major in the 70s and Bianca wanted this, uh, wanted a, you know, a special red dress for this big ball that everybody went to in Paris, you know, I, I remember the sort of Tina Chow and Marie Helvin and Jerry Hall and all these kind of beautiful sort of the demi-monde of that, of that time, you know. To be dressing Bianca Jagger for it was, you know, it was quite kind of cool. And the dress is very much a sort of an homage dress to sort of, um, to the dress that Rita Hayworth wore in Gilda. I think my style, I try to be modern in a way, but still quite romantic with the clothes and try to be feminine and try and think inside what a woman wants to wear. Like I'm trying to get away from that man dressing a woman and thinking how a woman dresses and what she wants to wear. I always have um, a certain modern woman in mind. She works, she lives in a town, she goes to different events and that's somebody that I design for. I don't think a frock needs to be challenging, I, I just don't. But I think it really should be an amalgam, you know, of the woman, the wearer and the dress. So doesn't she look fabulous is good enough for me. My idea of glamour is that there's a symmetry to everything and everything is very considered. I wouldn't say that my prints are random. Um, I think there's an essence of classicism there and elegance that still is part of my work. But at the same time, I think there's something very free about how um, women in the UK dress up now. And there's still glamour, but again, I think it's a little bit more individual. 
I think what makes Britain different is that sort of um, effortless glamour, um, glamour that is done without trying too hard, without trying too much. <laughs>